you coming to play? Hey, George! Poor George. George got an electric shock. <sighs> Scary, isn't it? This is my new invention. It's called George 2000. He's my twin robot. He will do the house cleaning for me. Oh, George, you're a genius. How do you manipulate him? <gasps> With a remote. Just see this. George is good for nothing. <gasps> uh, sorry, wrong button. Here, George is the most hardworking little train in the world. I think the first phrase was a bit more accurate. So you wanted to play outside? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, George, house cleaning mode. Okay, let's go now. Well, well. The great Professor George. He created something special, a robot. Good afternoon. Uh, what is going on here, eh? Can I water the flowers, please? Head watering flowers is a very serious business. Uh, but I see you are a very responsible little train. Why don't you go on and do it? Uh, and in the meantime, I will take a nap. And I can really use one. What's going on now? What have you done? Grandpa Billy, I brought you some cakes. Grandpa Billy, what's going on here? Whoa! Mm. Who's disturbing that piece here? It's George. It's George. It's all his fault, I tell you. Well, well. Where is this naughty kid, then? There he is. Stop him now. <laughs> Dear me, they're identical. Now tell me who made the mess in Grandpa Billy's garden. It was all my twin robot. Honestly, it's not my fault at all. No, he is my twin robot. Liar, you are the twin. I am George. No, I am George. No, I am. 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 I am. No, I am. Catch me. No, I am. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you drop this? <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh, George. What have you done now? Uh, now I know for sure, guys. I guess I have to clean my room by myself. I don't have enough coal to get to the peak. Oh. <coughs> I think the coal-fired coal engine is outdated. How about we conduct a modernization, huh? A modernization? A modernization. When something is old and worn out, it gets replaced with something new. 
and not so worn out. Do you want to replace Grandpa Billy with some Sparky? Oh, God. I suggest replacing Grandpa Billy's coal-firing furnace with an electric razor. What do you think, huh? I don't see your motor moving anywhere. It'll move for sure. Go and get me a flatbed trailer. Huh. Uh, oh! Ow! Uh. Ow! Uh. Oh, 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 I see oh, that this ouch. motor has moved oh. you off the rails. Oh, uh, so what? But I fixed it. That is in theory. And what about in practice? Um, in practice, it gave me an electric shock as well. Uh. <sighs> Okay, drawing the last nut up tight, and it's done. Aha! Congratulations, Grandpa Billy. Modernization is now a success. And now, you can go for your first test run. <laughs> It got no brakes! It doesn't have any brakes! Hey! Hey! I can't stop! Why can't Grandpa Billy put on the brakes? Unfortunately, in theory, Grandpa Brake System isn't adapted for high speed, you know. All right, then. We'll just have to try and stop him in practice. Don't you worry, Grandpa <laughs> Billy! Problem of stopping Grandpa Billy. Now let's think about tearing Grandpa Billy off the rails. Ooh. And about returning Grandpa Billy's old coal firing furnace? That's what I want more than anything. <laughs> so listen up, I built a cable way with a motor set. It helps Grandpa Billy to get coal. You are awesome. You actually did your modernization. Oh, oh modernization. Is it a really interesting place? Yes, visiting a museum is an interesting educational activity. Gee, I love everything interesting and... What did you call it? Educational? Hey, guys, where are you going? George and I are going to the museum. Come with us. It's absolutely great there. Oh, I can't come. I'm moving my grandma's belongings. Could you help me? Mm -mm. Well, we... We will. Later, for sure. Now we're late for the museum. Oh, never mind. You go. I will manage myself. Vera, I promise you on my word. We will help you. Weird-looking puff. This is an ancient sphinx puff. Where is his nose, then? This is the great riddle of history. There are many versions, but none are approved. Hey, look! Nesting blocks! These are not nesting blocks. These are huge pyramids. Do you know who built them? Who built them? The Egyptians. These are the Egyptian pyramids. Wow. It was very hard work indeed, Ethan, but the results would make you so proud. Yeah, I wish I could go there. What a job! It's 
so really, really hard, isn't it? It's been an easy part until now. Now we need to lift the rocks up to the top. Huh? Up there to the very top? George, we won't make it. There are many jacks and gears. We will arrange something, just trust me. Now get ready, let's jump. Oops. We stepped short, but the riddle of the Sphinx is solved, I guess. Now pull. Yes, we did it. We're great. Yes, we are. Oh, look. There's Vera down there. The stupid rock. Don't worry. We will help you. Listen. Farrah's really waiting for us there. Huh? But we just came here. We have to help out our friends first. The museum can wait a while. We can come here later with Vera. You're right. Let's go, Ethan. No, let's run! <laughs> I'm afraid we wouldn't make it, even the three of us. Just look at this huge pyramid over here. Pyramid, you're saying? <laughs> oh, wow, that's great. These museums are very helpful. Let's go to Anthony. He doesn't know about the new amusement park. Let's go and tell him. I already know about the amusement park. <laughs> what are you doing here, dude? Uh, I have my own amusements here. Well, kid, let me ask you, have you been on the Ferris wheel yet? He is afraid of heights, you see. He's a strong guy and tough, except for his fear of heights. I sent him to the amusement park as soon as I heard about it, but he's still scared. All right, Grandpa, where is it? Where is this park of yours? Heights is not unusual, you know. I guess it can be cured if you dare to face it. The more you think about it, the more scared you're gonna feel. I guess it can be cured with herbs or honey or something. Do you think that'll work? Now, let's climb up high. A trampoline is the safest way to deal with your fear of heights. It's such great fun. You should try it. Well, almost. I like trampolines. You're right. It's my turn now. Anthony, enjoy yourself. Get me out of here. Oh. It'll be all right. Get me out of here! Ah. Uh. I guess he'll be afraid uh. forever, guys. Uh. Come on, dude, cheer up. This time tomorrow you'll be high up somewhere. Or maybe next year.
I was afraid you guys might get hurt. <laughs> oh, wow, prehistoric times. It's so interesting. What is this book about? Prehistoric primitive tribes were spread around vast and wild regions. Caught our last mammoth. Yeah, I'd like some mammoth to eat with syrup. In these prehistoric times, it was difficult to find a mammoth. We've been out of stock with mammoths since last week. Sorry, I can't help you guys. So it looks like we'll have to go hunt. It was hard to hunt down a mammoth. Oh! Oh! Ah! Because they usually didn't even notice that they were being hunted. Whoa. There were other severities around. The hostile tribes. <laughs> the tribes had to defend themselves. was unpredictable. <sighs> Look, the mammoth is near. It means it's gonna rain. Oh. Just let them invent the weather forecast already. There was nothing much to do during the day, so mammoth hunting was the only way to fight boredom. But sometimes it was the other way around. As you see, being a prehistoric and primitive person was very, very complicated. Aha! Therefore, the prehistoric people invented something important, schools. At schools, they learned how to stop being primitive and become educated. Finally, they developed into really, really civilized trains. It's really great to be civilized. Go! Go! Oh. 
zero. My mom told me that Grandpa Billy has a birthday tomorrow. <gasps> oh, let's make Grandpa Billy a birthday present. Uh, It'll be a lovely uh, surprise. Uh, oh, what? Love. Before that, we need to ask him what he would want for a present. There's no point otherwise. E uh. <laughs> oh, well, you're not supposed to ask that. I think your present has to be a surprise. Surprises are the best. Big deal. We will make him the best present ever. No surprises. Come on, guys. Let's go. Grandpa Billy is very old and rusty. We shall paint him anew for a present. Look at my designs. Uh, hey, Sam Sparky. That's great. But how could we know what his favorite color is? Well, we will ask him. All right, then. The fashion show begins. Huh? For the elderly puff, stripes is the most stylish design. Green dots, you say? Is it chicken pox, you think? No, he's not ill. Huh? Polka dots is the most fancy print. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Fix your wagon, polka dots, I'll fix it. All right, let's plate him with chromium. Ah, <laughs> oh, I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this red pipe connects to Grandpa Billy's shower. No, the blue one. I know everything about pipes. Just look at this. Grandpa Billy, are you there? Yes, it's Grandpa Billy's voice. Put it on the blue one. Go ahead. As plated Grandpa Billy shows up, we render him flowers. And there goes your line. Dear Grandpa Billy, this chrome suits you very much. <laughs> Mrs. Dove, you are stunningly gorgeous. <laughs> oh, General, don't be so official. Just call me a silver star and we'll call it a day. <sighs> I told you to put it on the red pipe, not the blue one. Huh. You hipsters, you! Dear Grandpa Billy, this chrome, I mean. Huh. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa Billy. Here you are. These are for you. Hey, thank you, kids. Your friend's care is the best present you ever get, that's for sure. 